Hi guys, it's North. And it's Alec. And we're from the bass section here at Better Music. Today we're bringing you uh, the latest installment from Mesa Boogie. It's the Subway D800 amplifier. Guys, really quickly, this guy encompasses everything every bass player has been after for a long time. Big sound, um, dynamics, and of course, portability. The thing only weighs two and a half kilos. But uh, yeah, laptops are heavier than this. So guys, we're gonna go over this uh, in depth and take you deep inside. On the front of this amp, uh, we've got all the control for your power, starting with obviously the input jack and these two first switches. We have a play and mute switch. Um, so completely muted, uh, mutes the output section for your speakers. It also mutes the DI and your headphone output, which we'll get to that shortly, uh, for silent tuning. So your tuner out will still work in that mute position. Second switch is the active passive. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you're using a passive, put in passive, active, put in active. Uh, handy little LEDs, it'll let you know exactly where you are uh, at any time for quick reference. The third switch on the front panel of the Mesa D800 is the deep switch. Yep, Mesa have taken you deeper inside. You asked for it, every bass player's asked for it. We just want that deep, heavy sound. Um, and they've delivered. Uh, so when it's engaged, it gives you that sort of real, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the term dubby kind of sound. It's that thump. Look, we've all been craving, we've all wanted it, and now we've got it. Um, if you want to play a little bit, what we're going to do, I'm going to get Alec to play a little bit without it first, and then we'll come drop back in we'll, with the switch. Sure. Mm -hmm. Cool, so I hope you could hear that guys, that bottom end really, really extended just then. Um, now, we've also kept all the EQ flat to really emphasize that. Obviously, when you bring in uh, the bass control, obviously that's going to extend that even further. Uh, you've also got this great um, section for your mids, so you can uh, really enhance your dynamics, I guess. Really fine tune those mids. So whether you want to keep with that really sort of slick dubby sound or you want that growl, that bark for that big heavy rock sound, or if you're using a pick, you know, you want to get a little bit of that top end out, that, that high mid control is fantastic. Right through to your treble for all your nice cutting kind of sounds. Um, now, let's go back here to the voicing. Again, this is something I could sit here and explain this to you, but we're going to run out of time to be a feature film. Guys, I'm going to get Alec to play again I'm going to come out of the, so I'm going to turn the deep off, and we're going to move the voicing from flat. Come out of the deep. We're out of the deep. <laughs> uh, we're into the shallow. Uh, and I'm just going to move that voicing across just so you can get a good overview of what it's doing. It's one thing to explain it, it's another thing to hear it. This, this voicing, I find, really gives this amp its flexibility. Mm. I mean, a lot of amps that you come across have a four-band um, EQ, but this voicing, how it voices the mids, really helps you get a lot of different sounds out of quite a simple EQ. Makes it quite dynamic. Yeah. Yep. So I'll play that same riff for just All right. So I was hoping, I hope you guys could really hear what was going on there. So we had that really nice rich thump when we mm. went back to the, the flat. I mean, we're going back to that really original tone, that mess of sound. You get a lot more dynamics from when you're pushing it up. I could really feel the crunch on the note. Oh yeah, yeah. 
get a bit more bite, yeah. adds that certain level of transparency as well. <coughs> so a, a super cool feature from Mesa Boogie. So some of the other fantastic features, actually some of the greatest features of the SAM, they're on the back end. So mm -hmm. let's have a look in the, um, the amps back end. Okay, so over here, straightforward, we've got the IEC connection, the power switch, the amp is completely fan cooled as well. Which is quiet, which a lot of people complain about the Mesa Boogies. Oh yeah, some of those bigger amps, uh, Mesa, even some of the other brands that are fan cooled, yeah. especially when it comes to recording. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's almost as loud as some of you playing. Um, now this guy is also using a speak on output uh, and it runs at a two ohm minimum load. Uh, as far as impedance matching goes, it does have a really handy little switch, uh, one side two ohms and the other side four and eight, uh, depending on your speaker combination make uh, combination makeup. So now some of this other really cool stuff, the DI section or just the other auxiliary outputs. So we've got a headphone output. Now this amplifier, because it is a class D amplifier, it doesn't require you to have a speaker load attached to it while you're running, like some of the big valve amps. So should inspiration strike you again, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, and you just want to start jamming, set of headphones in there, no one's going to hear you, and you don't have to have your speakers connected. Uh, you've also got the auxiliary input. So if you have pre-recorded music, i.e. something from your phone, uh, any other um, um, uh, wave file style, device, just a simple cord into the back there, you can jam along with any of your favourite tracks, drop a drum machine in there for practice. Um, Possibilities super, are endless. Super endless. Um, and you're jamming with a drummer, I mean, it's, a, it's sort of some of the best practice you can have. Yeah. A bit more interesting than a standard metronome. Yeah. Uh, now also with your DI um, specific here, we have, uh, you've got the source, you've got the pre and the post EQ switch. Uh, you've also got the line and mic level switch and of course your ground level switch. So for any other noise, if you're getting a bit of noise through your DI, flick it and it uh, should disappear. We're, uh, we're running the DI through this one at the moment. Yeah. And I've got to say, it's one of the best sounding DI's that I've heard through an amplifier yeah. in a long, long time, if ever. Really. So we'd, yeah, yeah, so we've got a, uh, a combination today working with the DI and the mic setup. For some of you other bass players out there who are used to the big, burly, the big V8, V12 style amplifiers, you know, for shaking the room, pushing the back wall out, does this amp overdrive? Uh, overdrive so much they've actually included a little LED to let you know when you're overdriving. So yeah, you can drive it like some of the bigger amps, the all valve amplifiers. Um, we're going to quickly demonstrate that. Um, if you're ever in doubt whether or not you're overdriving the amp, the LED will let you know, but to do that, we're gonna boost the input, and just for the recording purposes, we will have to take the master down a fraction, but you're definitely gonna hear all your dynamics, all that tone uh, coming through. I'm gonna leave the EQ flat for the uh, purpose of this demonstration. So, yeah, let's, let's get that voicing out there. I'm gonna uh, take our master down a bit, just a smidge, and let's, we're gonna really, So yeah, you can hear how that nice, uh, you know, quite a rich, very usable kind mm. of distortion. It's not you, you, a super saturated kind of distortion that you would get from a pedal. Guys, they're trying to recreate uh, that valve clipping. And it's a Mesa nice Boogie sound. tube overdrive as well. They're yeah. taking the lineage of this amp from like the, the 400, 400 plus. Yeah. Their new strategy and prodigy lines, their tube amplifiers. Yeah. But even the carbine and the walkabouts. The carbine the series, the walkabout, the big block <coughs> series. So yeah, it's got, it's a nod to the old school right through to well, yeah, the the new school. So you've got that, yeah, that nice grittiness of the old 400. And once again, that vow, that voicing control will really help change the style of the overdrive. <laughs> 
It's got a bit more crunch to the sound. Yeah, now. definitely. And then if we just quickly move it back to the middle. We're obviously driving it pretty hard at the moment, but you can go sure. anywhere from nothing at all to a nice yep. warm sort of kind. And that's the actual amp making that, that mm. overdrive sound. It's not the speakers um, being overloaded. That is purely just the amplifier. It's not the bass, bass no. preamp pushing it too hard. This is a passive bass that we're using. Yep. Uh, so, guys, yeah, really super usable overdrive. So any of you kind of guys who dig your sort of your stoner kind of yeah. hard rock sound, this thing with a pick on that overdrive, super, super punchy. Yeah. Um, just another one of those great features where Meso have listened and delivered. Okay, so just to recap, guys, uh, again, the latest installment from Mesa Boogie, gorgeous little 2.4, 2.5 kilo amplifier that will fit snugly, comfortably into any bag. Not just any bag, these actually do come with a slip case or a bag to go with it. Yeah. Which the majority of your other D-Class amps these days, you do have to pay extra for. So that's a nice little added bonus from Mesa. Also in the Subway range, they've brought out a single 12 with horn. And they've also got the single 15 and horn as well. We're using them both today. Um, All yeah. the combinations sound great. I've never really come across a 12 and a 15 that sounds so good together. And and also keeping with the whole subway thing, they're yeah. light. Yeah. This is this is the thing. It's the big sound. It's the portability, and it's the mess of tone. Yeah. It's those three big boxes being ticked. Yeah. Um, 400 watt cabs of about 15 kilos or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Th there's no reason why you can't sling your bass on, uh, on your back, amp in one one hand, cab in the other. Yeah. You're ready for any gig. One lug rig, it's awesome. Yeah, really nice and easy. Guys, if you'd like to come in and try it out, we really, really would like love to see you in store or get to your nearest Mesa Boogie dealer. Again, this is North and this is Alec from the bass section at Better Music. Guys, thanks for watching. And if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, our other big type of bass out there is the active bass and this one like we just explained does have the 9 volt battery on board. Uh, what that allows you to do is boost the bottom end, boost your top end, really shape those uh, mid-range frequencies and don't be afraid as a bass player of the mid-range, keep in mind to...